is the true story of four strangers. <laughs> Pick to play a board game, take turns, and have their experience taped. Find out what happens when players stop being polite and start getting real. This is the game of real life. This, this is, is the game, game of, of real, real life. life. Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm the inventor of the game of real life. In the original game of life, the objective was to get the most money. So in my game, the objective is to get the most happiness. You flip a coin in the beginning of the game to see if you're going to be born male or female. So you're actually playing the game as a character, not yourself. You can sort of experience different situations like being offered drugs. So you're just going through that process as a character in the game, not in real life yet. And the player who accumulates the most happiness wins the game. When Charlie called me a bum, it really, it really struck a nerve. And he also called me smelly, which is completely, it's his opinion. Like, if you were living on the side of the road, you would understand my standards of cleanliness. You're just a stupid stripper. <laughs> so, Kickstarters, now I need your help. I hand make the games. And so I can use your Kickstarter money to buy all my supplies and also maybe get the game the box of the game manufactured, so that'll speed up the process and I can produce more games. And I really would like to get this game to take off. And what I want to do is get up to Seattle. And specifically, I'd like to go to Seattle Hemp Fest, but the booth fee is $1,000, so I need help with that. So with your generous contribution, I can buy my supplies for $3,100 and get all the boxes um, made for $4,000 and then go to Hemp Fest, pay for the booth fee at Hemp Fest uh, for $1,000. So in return, what I'm offering is uh, for a $20 pledge, you get a print of the game, but you get everything you need to play. And for $50, you get uh, the print of the game laminated in a nicer tube. And then for $100, you get the handmade full board game. So I thought it was super weird that Sophie kissed a smelly kid, but we became friends anyway, and now I'm just, she's awesome. When the game started, my first impression of Amanda was She's a hot mess, but I feel if there's anybody I was sitting around the whole game that I linked with, it was Amanda.